All right, thank you so much for your patience with me as I took a little break from YouTube to figure out some things over here. I appreciate you all subscribing and liking my video. I hope that you learned something new. But as you see, what we have here is a template for Skittles and Publisher. This one has a little room on the side in case you want to cut your edges with a fancy scissors or something like that. This one right here is our regular template that is the exact size and just allows for if you want to do like a paper print or something like that but it's exactly the size of a skittles bag so um to get started one of the things you could do very easily is come in and change the text on here so right now i have uh shakia's i'm going to go ahead and edit that in word art and if you purchase this template and mock up from me, you will get a, a sheet that explains everything and how you could use it. But, and you can always reference this video. So um, we'll do a little unicorn theme for Ariana. And everything is word art, so you can um, come in and edit it in word art you can always change your fonts or anything like that if you like like i can make this a different font right now uh, i guess this one is good yeah i like what we're using sometimes publishers are a little fickle you guys know that so Unicorn. I don't think I hit okay. Okay. And you know, actually, I don't want that to say unicorn. I want it to say, um, unicorn. Say, like, happy birthday, Ariana's. You could change the color of any of these. You don't have to keep the same gradient that I have. Like I can make this be a different color, blue. And I think what I wanna do is actually change the background as well under page design. I want a new color and I'll show you why. Love this color. We get some tropical skittles. I'll probably even come through and change the uh, border on her name under word art shape outline. Uh, that's cute. Change the color here. Then you can change the effects on all this if you like. I'm going to bring in some clip art. Um, everybody's fond of this chocolate unicorn that's flying around. It's from Diverse SVG. And you know, you can bring this in. Um, if this was your party theme, you could get creative as you so please. I'm going to send this backwards. So she's behind the name. And keep in mind, anything under that first line is going to wrap around to the back. So. Um, this one, I probably will change the colors now. I don't like it. You can always do a sample. I'll take this pink, like that pink. Oh, I have to obviously bring this forward. Can't pick something that it doesn't know. So let's do that again. Let's go back and change the shape fill in this. Hmm. 
So sometimes there might be an effect on something. So be sure you check that. Let's see here. Not quite certain why it does not want to change the color. But that's okay. We'll figure it out. There we go. Now it's cooperating. I think it's the effects. Um, the color might be a little too, yeah, a little too light for this. So let's go with the purple. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So I'm going to send this backwards a bit. And I'm actually probably even going to make this a little smaller. Bring her forward. No, you need to play with it, depending on how you want it to be. I don't like this blue color anymore, so I'm going to fix that. Yeah, so have your fun. Um, create what you want to create. That's the joy in all of this. And I'm going to show you one last step really quickly. Uh, um, a few last steps, excuse me, that we can play with. So you could show a mock-up to your customers. Uh, yeah, see, like, that is so adorable, right? I'm even going to change the color of these Skittles because I don't want them this color anymore. Yeah, see, like, this is so cute now. I love it. Don't know about you guys, but I like it already. And that's her unicorn party. So you would just save this as a PNG. Let's not save over anything. There we go. Unicorn. And I'm going to go and I'm going to buy a mock up for this and show you all how I'm going to use that. I'm not going to print it. Um, there's printing instructions included, but you guys can figure out how to print your own. Um, I use a laser printer, and I use high-gloss paper. It will look great wrapped around the candy bag, wrapped around the, the uh, Skittles. Let's give it some time to open. Taking a bit. Sorry about that. And here it comes. Finally, it wants to open. So this is my mock-up template. Um, it's two parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and open that one we just did. I'm going to bring it in here. And what I need to do is crop this because obviously if I inserted this into the full template right now, it's going to be too wide. I'll show you what I mean. I'm just going to copy it. Right click copy and I'm going to come here and I'm going to do right click format shape fill it um, picture I'm just going to do clipboard because I already just copied it so see how it's a lot of blue space 
I don't want that much blue space. So I'm going to crop this down a little bit so we can see Ariana's name a little bigger in our mock-up when we go to Sharp Customer because that's what they'll want to see. I like this better. I'm going to copy it again. You don't have to copy. You could do it from a file. You could do whatever. But this just works better for me. See how much better that looks? Pop it in. Oh, amazing. She looks great, right? So I love it. Select all. You can format it, group it. And now we have an image. You can always just save this as a picture, or you could do file, save as, you know, unicorn mock up. Um, so I'm going to finish with that. Thanks for joining me tonight, or whenever you're joining me. Talk to you later. Um, this is available on my website. Have a good night.